welcome to this week's edition of Connective TV. I'm Michael Gurner. Don't forget, next week we've got the MFAA National Conference in Adelaide. We're out there looking for new members, but please, all of you existing members, make sure that you come up to the stall that we've got there. Might be a surprise for you. Anyway, we've got a lot to get through this week with, uh, with the lenders changing uh, their rates off the back of last week's RBA uh, cash rate reduction. So over to Coxie. <laughs> Bank will be sending all existing personal credit card customers a notice of variation to conditions of use as a result of changes to the NCCP legislation which comes into effect on the 1st of July 2012. The $99 customer ordered valuation is back and available from Friday the 11th of May 2012 for a limited time. The COV will revert to the regular price of $199 on the 1st of July 2012. On the 8th of May 2012, they reduced the one and three year fixed rates and the one year guaranteed home loan and investment loan fixed rates. In other news, they are changing their mortgage services model for processing, creating a national model. Mortgage Servicing Melbourne will progressively transition to MS sites in Queensland, New South Wales and Western Australia. Liberty Financial has introduced one, two and three year fixed rates on their star and free full dock and low dock products. They also offer SMSF loans which can be secured against commercial properties. For more information, contact your network development manager. Police and nurses decreased their three-year fixed rate to 5.85% per annum from the 4th of May 2012. Westpac Bank has set down some deadlines when files must be lodged with them to ensure they are settled before the 30th of June 2012. Refer to the Westpac what's new flyer in the weekly bulletin for deadline dates. They have also announced a reduction of 0.37% off their variable rates for new and existing clients effective from Monday the 14th of May 2012. The only exception is the Flexi First option and Flexi First investment loans which will be reducing by 0.32% per annum. Bankwest has announced a reduction in their variable rates of 0.32% per annum effective from the 14th of May 2012, along with a reduction in fixed rates which came into effect on the 7th of May 2012. Adelaide Bank announced a decrease in their variable rates of 0.35% per annum effective from Monday the 21st of May 2012 and decrease their fixed rates on the 9th of May 2012. Connective Home Loans reduced their one and two year fixed rates on the option home loan effective from the 9th of May 2012. Better Mortgage Company introduced a ProPAC loan on the 7th of May 2012, with rates starting from 6.26% per annum which has an ongoing fee of $330. Home loans reduce the fixed rate on their Money Power full and low dock products for one to five years, effective from the 9th of May to 2012. They also announce changes to their variable rate products. The changes and effective dates are too numerous to mention, so refer to the home loans flyer in the weekly bulletin. St George Bank and Bank SA reduced the variable rate on their loan products by an amount of 0.38% per annum effective from the 14th of May 2012. And they've also reduced their one to five year fixed rates to 5.94%. Bank of Melbourne reduced their variable rates by an amount of 0.41% per annum effective from the 14th of May 2012 and reduce their one to three year fixed rates to 5.94% per annum. Latrobe Financial has told us not to be daunted by commercial loans. They assess them exactly the same way as a residential product for both their full dock and low dock products. 
AMP Bank has withdrawn their two-tiered pricing on their basic home loan product. Macquarie Bank has reduced their variable rates by 0.34% for full dock loans and moved on their one to five year fixed rates effective from the 9th of May 2012. Existing reverse loans, self-certified loans and stated income loans will decrease by 0.25% effective from the 28th of May 2012. And finally, Provident Capital reduced their one to five year fixed rates effective from the 9th of May 2012. And remember to look out for the weekly bulletin, which was sent out last Friday. Last week, we looked at the pitfalls of obtaining a conditional approval. This week, we're going to look at what happens if your loan is declined? What options do you have? There are a number of options that you can choose from the connective panel. What do you do if your deal is declined? There may be an option to place the loan with a non-conforming funder. Australian First Mortgage, we have access to non-conforming products via Pepper and Resimac, and Connective also has access to a number of other options for you, should you need those. Next week, we'll be looking at Smart Credit. What is Smart Credit, you may ask? Well, tune in next week and find out. Just a reminder, coming up are the June Connective Academies. We've got a very special presenter in Stuart Weems. A lot of you would have experienced Stuart's presentation recently with a webinar that we provided, and I think nearly a third of our members attended that webinar. Stuart's been through it all, experienced it, and overcome it. So he's a very exciting presenter, so make sure that you get in early for your registrations because they will fill fast. Well, there's a lot of changes to take in there, a lot of rate movements off the back of that cash rate move at the RBA. Just a reminder, there's two weeks to go on the early bird rate for our annual conference in November. Make sure that you get in soon because it is filling fast. Anyway, that's all for this week from Connective TV. I'm Michael Gurner. Goodbye.